Hi everyone, this is Dana, and in the screencast, I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio for basic screencasting. Uh, to install, go to their website, obsproject.com, and then uh, just choose your operating system, Windows in this case, and just install the program as usual. Now I already have it, so I'm going to cancel. And this is what it looks like. One thing I need to tell you from the beginning is that it does not have a pause button. So if you stop, you um, uh, just going to have um, several different clips and you have to edit them later. This is what I uh, usually do. Uh, I just use a video editor after that. Okay, now let's have a look at the settings. The main things that you need to check or change here are the output. So make sure the recording, you set the recording path um, wherever you want your videos to be. Otherwise, you might not find them afterwards. And then the recording format, um, you have several formats here, but MP4 is a pretty safe one. Uh, most editors should be able to handle that. Um, hotkeys. So hotkeys, in case you don't want to always go and uh, click on that button, uh, you can just set up a key on your keyboard that you can press to start and stop recording. Um, so I just use the end. Uh, so just press on that and it will appear here. Okay, and one thing that you might want to check is in advanced render uh, make sure that this is Direct3D 11. Okay, now we could set up the audio as well, but that might change from recording to recording, so I normally prefer to do it from here. As you can see here, you have the desktop audio, so that's the sound that your computer makes in case you are showing a video, for example. Uh, it's going to appear here, and this is my microphone and you can choose from properties in case you have different devices just choose them from here you can also either adjust the volume for each of these sources or you can just mute it if for instance you don't want the desktop audio one more thing in case you find that after you record your video and audio are out of sync then go here to mixer and put in a sync offset to your microphone so i find that's about 200 milliseconds but you might want to um, just play with that and see what works for you all right the last thing i want to show you is the file in case you didn't set up the path or you don't remember where you, you um, your recordings are, you can go here to file and show recordings. Okay, now um, for this video, we're only going to use one scene, so you don't need to worry about this. And also you don't need to worry about this part, scene transitions. And now we're going to add sources. One source that we might want to use is window capture. Now for to use that, we need to make our windows visible here on the screen. Uh, let's see, I have that one too. Okay. So now I can choose which window I want. Now, Unfortunately, this does not work uh, with all applications on Windows 10. Um, I don't know why. It might work on your computer, in which case fine, but on some computers, be aware that it might not work. So for instance, in my case, um, Google Chrome is absolutely fine. Yeah, so you can see it just captures my window and nothing else. Um, however, if I try to use Word, there is nothing there and the same for PowerPoint and other applications like that as well. Um, so just so you know, it doesn't work. Uh, if that happens, uh, let me remove this. Uh, just go ahead and use the, um, where is it, display capture. 
Okay, so this of course captures your whole screen. So if you just want to use Word, for example, uh, you can just make this full screen. You're going to see it there, a full screen. The next thing that you might want to use is uh, your camera. So we're going to add another source and we go to video capture device. Okay. And from here, you can choose which camera you want to use. Um, I'm choosing this um, webcam that I have attached to my laptop. And OK. Um, and then you can make this bigger or smaller. Normally, people just make a small window and put it somewhere so it doesn't interfere with the rest. And this way, you can have both your display and the camera. Um, and of course, if you just want a uh, recording of yourself, you can uh, remove this. Uh, no, sorry, remove this. And then you have only your video capture device and you can make it bigger like this. Okay. After you set up your sources, you can just click start recording or your hotkey. Uh, so now it's capturing and then stop recording or your hotkey again. And then you can see that my video already appeared here. So this is how you set up OBS in case you want to make just a basic screencast. Thanks for watching.